Hi, my name is Holly Jackson and I'm going to be doing a tutorial today on Google Drawing. Google Drawing is an app that you can use. It's housed within your G Suite or your Google Drive and you can use it to do a lot of things in the classroom um, and create drawings and different images that you can place on any digital file. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, you'll start by going to your Google Drive, which is at drive.google.com in your web browser. You're going to come to the top left hand corner and tap on new. And you'll want to scroll down to where it says more. As you scroll down, you'll see there's an option for Google Drawings. You want to tap on that. What will happen is your Google Drive will open you a brand new Google Drawing. This will save automatically in your Google Drive, just like any other Google file. You can title your drawing by tapping right here. So I'm just going to put practice. And what I'm going to make is a Venn diagram because I'm going to be placing this into a presentation I'm doing or a slide deck that I want my students to be working on that I'm going to assign in Google Classroom. So you can see there's a lot of different tools here um, that you can insert text boxes, images, you can add comments, draw lines. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add some shapes because I'm making a Venn diagram. So I'm going to tap on a circle. And I want my circles to be exactly the same. Um, and so I'm going to come up here to edit and copy. And I'll go to edit and paste. And I've made a second circle. And you know with a Venn diagram I want them to overlap. You'll see some red guidelines popping up. Um, those red guidelines will help you center things. So it's just helping you keep your um, two circles lined up. Um, I'm going to make my circle transparent. You see you have, once you've selected one of these items, you have a lot more options. So now that I've selected my circle, I'm going to change it and make it transparent. So I'm going to do that to both circles. I also have some options here of, you know, changing the border, making it thicker, which I want to do. So I'm going to make them three point on each side because I want to make it a little bolder. One neat thing about all of these shapes is if you double tap them, you can type in them. So we know with a Venn diagram, we'll put our differences here. Say I want that to be centered in my circle. I'm going to put that in the center. Scooch my circle over a little bit. All right, and that's how you make some basic shapes. You see you have all your formatting tools up here. You can actually link things to them. Um, and there's lots you can explore here. But let's practice and pretend that I'm all done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, share this, or I'm going to save this as a file. You have a couple of options. You can go ahead and insert it right into a new document or presentation. Um, I want to download this as a file. So say I want to put this in something else. I'm going to download it. I'm going to come here, and I highly recommend that if you want that, that background to remain transparent, that you download it as a PNG file. All of these are image files, but that one will keep the background transparent. So I'm going to tap on that. You can see it saved down here um, in, in my downloads. I'm going to just show you what a transparent image looks like in a presentation. So I'm going to just quick create a Google slide so you can see what that looks like. Get rid of my text here because I'm just going to make this an image. It's going to be a Venn diagram I want my students to, to work on. I'm going to change the background so you can see um, what it'll look like. Ooh, that's bright. And then I'm just going to drag my image right here. So you can see with Google Drawing, I quickly made a really nice Venn diagram for my students to fill out in this slide deck that I'm going to assign to them in Google Classroom. So that's just a brief introduction to Google Drawings. Thank you for watching this tutorial on Google Drawings. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description.